Hi, my love, beautiful souls of the mystical world of love and love in. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Click the reading on first ring. Click the reading on first ring. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing the channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. Not be wearing masks. Not for you guys for the most high. So thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, notify. Also, if you're guiding my channel, there's some kind of truth, clarity, confirmation message you're looking for. You may be also guided as my soul, my soul journey is to help wake you guys up to your higher self, higher conscious, the 5D. I want to say thank you for the donation. Super thanks. Booking with me and purchasing products from my Etsy store. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I do have 15% off and free shipping and handling in my Etsy store. And if you purchase $50 of product or more, you get a 10-minute free reading with me. Okay, you guys. So I was hearing that they want you dead. Okay? They want you dead. We're going to kind of dig into this. Why do they want you dead? We're going to see why, why does uh, this person want you dead. Okay? I was hearing because you're succeeding. Greed, okay, it's about greed. We have popo, pig, okay. It's about popos, pigs, beware of greed. Okay, this person is greedy. That's why they want you dead. They want everything for themselves. They don't want to share. They want it all for themselves. They're in competition. Because you're an earth angel, okay, I'm here because you're an earth angel, light worker, star scene. You bring truth, you bring light. You bring love to the collective, okay? You bring love to your family, your friends, your community. They don't like that you're a loving person, a caring person. That's why they want you gone. They want you dead. And I mean, like, I'm hearing over and over, this person is saying, I want her or him dead. I want her or him dead, okay? Over and over. I want them dead. I want them dead. Kill them. I want them killed, okay? That's what I'm hearing. I want them killed. Get rid of them. I'm hearing that over and over. Get rid of them. They need to go. They need to leave. They don't need to be here. I don't want them here. I hate them. Like that. I'm hearing literally negative things like nonstop, like hateful words coming out of their mouth. Okay. This person like, and they may be saying this to another person. Cause I'm hearing them saying it to another person. I'm also hearing them saying it out loud. So I'm seeing like somebody saying it out loud and there could be people around. <coughs> there could be people in the room. They can be doing it by themselves. They can be standing in the mirror because I'm like hearing mirror magic. Okay. Thinking that it's in the mirror. And with this person saying this to about you. They want you dead collective. They're saying this about you. If they're saying this in the mirror to anybody else, it's actually reflected back on them. It's it's boomerang back. It's 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 ping pong ponging back. Okay, you know like when you ping play ping pong or you play tennis or anything that you're playing, you know it's just gonna keep going right back. So every time they say they want you dead, it's like bouncing back onto them, and they're it's it's making them more ill. Okay, it's making somebody more ill. It's making them, um, their life like hell. Okay, they're living like hell. They're living in hell. Okay, they're trying to make you live in hell. They want to take. They want you dead. and want you to go to hell. They're going to end up living in hell or they're living in hell. Broken wish. Wish will not be granted, okay? It's not going to come true for them, okay? You're not going to die, okay? You're not going to be taken out of this world. There's You have too much um, going on for you, okay? You have, what I'm hearing is you have not broke the universal laws or if you have in the past, you, you know not to break them anymore and I'm hearing you're not breaking 10 commandments, okay? So you know the 10 commandments, you know the, you know, 12 universal laws, you know what you put into this universe comes back on you, you know the correspondence, you know, uh, cause and effect, all that stuff, okay? Something about you know or you're learning, okay? You know, hate doesn't like help any either. Okay, you know if you're gonna be hate, hateful and rude and disrespectful to people, it's not gonna make anything anything better. Okay, you know it's gonna make your life worse. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So like, if you're angry at somebody, if you're mad at somebody, you you may be you may. I'm hearing it's like you have you have a right to have those emotions, be angry, and mad, but you don't project that on, on onto them, and you don't treat people disrespectful and rude. Okay. You don't wish them ill. You don't wish them dead. Okay, that, and that's what I'm hearing. You do not wish people dead. This individual, this person, or pe even people could be wishing, like I said, wishing you dead. They want you dead. And they're saying it out loud. Okay? They're saying it out loud. They could be saying it quietly, too, and maybe to one person. They think if they say it enough that it's going to happen. Okay, that's what I just heard. They think that they, they think if they say it enough, they're going to manifest it. They're going to make it happen. Somebody, this person knows about manifestations, and they're that's what they're they're trying to manifest a negative thing in your life. They're they're trying to manifest you to die, and it's not going to happen. They're just it's going to come back and bite them in the ass. Okay, it's going to come back and bite them in the ass. They want you gone because you're being um recognized recognized for your rewards. Okay, we have basket. You have some kind of basket coming in, okay? Some kind of blessings, some kind of gift coming in and being recognized for what you do. And they don't like that. They don't want you to be recognized. Okay, they don't want you to be recognized. 
I just said gift. Okay, we have basket and then we have a box. You always see the gift. So you're being rewarded for merit and then a box, like gift. You're a gift to humanity. You're a gift to this world. There's this greedy mother effer. Heifer. We just heard a mother heifer. What else here? What's going on here? Why why does this person want the collective dead? Why do they want the collective dead? You're receiving some kind of good news. Okay. Hearing something. This could be your ring your ears ringing as well, okay? Hearing something. They also I'm hearing ear like they're they're gossiping. This person's gossiping. Okay, word of mouth, telephone calls, like, you know, talking out their ass, talking shit, talking smack. They know you're not wicked. They know you're not evil. Okay? And they still want you dead. They still want you gone. What else? What else? They're trying to break you. They think if they break you, then you'll die. You'll give up. Broom. New home, new attitude. See, this is your energy coming out. Like you have a new attitude, new home. Like you're not putting up with it. You're you're unbothered by it. You're not allowing it to affect your life. Okay. This too, this person's probably uh, most likely hexing you. Okay, is hexing you. Uh, you know when you get hexed. You know when like you're being attacked. Okay, there's signs or synchronicities when you're getting ha um, hexed or like attacked and stuff like that. Uh, you're just sweeping away it. Okay, you're like just sweeping away. Like, yeah, you know it, and like you're just, you're not gonna like it. Like keep you unbothered, okay? It's not gonna, it's not gonna get to you. It's annoying. It's irritating. I'm hearing you're really irritated, annoyed by it, and like it takes a lot of time away, and then you have to like do some work back, okay? Because that's what I'm hearing too. Is like this is annoying and irritating because then you have to do extra work to protect yourself when you've already been protected. When this person like sending hexes at you or like death spells at you, and it's like, uh, or wishing ill on you, and you're just like, damn, I, I. I I have to do this again. I have to put another protection spell up on me. I have to light another candle. I have to, you know, cleanse myself, take another spiritual bath, spiritual shower. I have to do this meditation. I need to exercise. I need to make sure my chakras are balanced. I, you just did it. You just got over it. And it's like, okay, you just cleanse and everything's going well. And then all of a sudden, that's, so it's, it's more of an annoyance and irritation and like, then like you being more like hateful and stuff like that. It, it just, a pain, it's a pain in the ass. Okay. It's a pain in the ass. And it causes temporary problems in your life. Okay. And then you have to get back on track, okay? And it's just like, oh, come on, when are they gonna have enough? When is this gonna be enough? When are they gonna get over it? That I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna die. I'm never gonna die. Like I'm protected. Like, can you, like, are, is this gonna ever give up on them? Like, are they gonna give up? And it's just like, it's an annoying. It's like, it's an like annoying game. May. Someone's middle name could be May. First name May, or something can be significant in May. Because you're happy. Look at the sun. You're happy. Like, happiness and well-being. And that's the thing. You get this hex. You get this death spell. Like, they want you dead. You, they see that you're doing good and stuff. And then all of a sudden, like, you're just like, I'm so happy. And then you're just like, oh, I gotta do this work again. I gotta work extra hard. I gotta do another freaking day of this. Like, I have other things that I've done. And now it's just all I do. It is. It's annoying. Because it happens to me too. Okay? It happens to me too. And I know that it's happened to the collective as well. So, I feel you. I feel for you. I feel for you. Butterfly. Um, it changed for the better, okay? You're changing. You're transforming. Wow. See, like, here's a casket. Death, okay? They want to keep sending death attacks, death spells at you, wanting you dead, and so like that. It's going to end up being their casket. They're going to end up getting buried, okay? They're going to end up leaving this planet, not you. Someone's going out of your life or in a, a new situation, okay? And I'm hearing, like, the most high God, source, creator of the universe is, like, putting a, like, a stop to this, like, stop... Stop hexing my chosen one. Stop hexing my earth angel. Stop sending death spells. They're not going to die. They're not going to give up. They're protected. Leave them alone. You're not listening. You're going to have to leave this leave this plane, okay? Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, God is telling this person, like, if you don't want to listen, then you're going to leave. Not this person. You're going to leave. Because your angels are protecting you. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Okay? You're being protected from harm. Triumph over obstacles and uh, 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 triumph over troubles and obstacles. Yeah, triumph over ego. 
See, this is why they want you dead because you have so much love inside of you. Heart, love, deep affection or caring. That's why. Because you're such a loving person, caring person. And they don't like that. Somebody doesn't like you being positive, loving, caring, kind, generous, loyal, truthful, faithful. Okay, they don't they don't like that. They don't like that you're like a diamond, you know, shining that bright, okay? Because they're they're attacking, they're a shark. Look at there's confirmation, they're a shark, they're attacking. Take care or there will be loss of material wealth, okay? They want to take your wealth, but they're gonna end up their their wealth's gonna be taken. Everything they're doing to you, just remember it's gonna come back. My um this is off topic, but this is gonna be something Mommy. what? What? Okay, you want more? Yeah. Just a minute, guys. I'll be back. Got more. Okay. I was going to tell you a little bit something about me. A story, a quick little story, life story of yesterday. Okay, so with this situation, because it's, it's, it's relevant to the situation. So yesterday, I went with my husband to play disc golf, okay? Um, we actually went twice yesterday. Yeah, we went twice. The first time we went with Cherish, okay, we went up there with Cherish, which I did the recording, whatever. And he found three discs, okay? You know, he plays disc golf. He found three discs, okay? He has no names on them. Usually, if they have a name on it, he'll call. He'll call a person because we have up there, he puts his names on there, and that's just how they are. They're really people that play disc golf. They're really kind and nice, and he find discs and stuff like that. You call a person. Well, there's no names on it. So he comes up, he's like, Jamie, he's like, look it. He's like, God gifted me three discs, the ones I've lost before. And he's like, well, I lost one before, and there's these ones. And he's like, there's no names on it. He's like, they're brand new. And like, when they're brand new, like, Hopefully they'll have like a post, you know, saying up there and stuff like they were just sitting there, you know, they're out there and like no one was there. Absolutely no one was there. Okay. And so, um, he's like, I don't know. He's like, there's no numbers on them. He's like, I can't call anybody. He's like, I'll hold on to him. If anyone, if I see anybody and they ask, I have them. So he'll hold on to him. You know, he, um, may, he'll hold on to him for a while, may play with them and stuff. And, you know, I, cause I talked, talked to him about this before many, many times before about, you know, we get gifts and stuff when things happen and stuff. And it's a blessing, you know, and sometimes we don't expect it, you know, when we don't have to pay for our money and buy something. And so they were, there were two brand new discs and one was more worn out, one a bit worn out and stuff like that. And he did, he lost, he lost one, um, it, he lost like two, he lost one like in a pond and then his, his cousin lost one when we were in North Dakota and stuff like that. Um, you know, and it happens that you do a lot cause in the woods and stuff like that in the ponds, the water and stuff. And so it's kind of cool, you know, and he got them. So he got three discs and so we come home whatever. And then we go up there again last night after Cherish got calmed down. Me and him decided to go up there, you know, by ourselves for once, you know, just spend a little bit of time together. And we were playing and his really good one, his really good one went into the pond. And like usually we get it out this time, it like it, it, it usually like floats. This one sunk right down in you guys. Okay. His, his disc sunk right down in. And then, like, we couldn't get the stick to get it out. And now, like, I like going in the water, but the pond, I won't go. There's big snapping turtles, and there's, like, snakes right there. And it's, like, I don't like leeches. And I've never had a leech on me, and this is not moving water. And I love water. But to go in a pond like that, I just, no. And his friends go in there, like, a couple, every once in a while to grab the disc out. Because there's so many discs in there. Like, they literally find so many discs in the pond. And he was so angry, so mad about this. And then he was walking. He's like, I guess you're right, Jamie. He's like, I just gained three discs, and I just... He's like, I lost one and I gained three, so I gained two. And he's like, I just lost one. And now he's like, you are right, cause and effect. Like, or was it, yeah, cause and effect. Or no, what one is it? It's where you gain something. I don't know if it's cause and effect. Um, what one is it? Let me see, hold on. Um, it's where you gain something. And he's, he was mad. He was angry because it was this really good one. Okay, really, really good one. And, right, okay, it's law of composition, okay? I'll tell you about, okay, law of composition. So we're walking, and I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I'm like, you got blessed with three discs earlier today, and now you just lost one. So, you know, and you lost one before. I'm like, it's, it, I go to him, I go, I go, this is the thing, is when you lose something, you gain something. If you gain something, you lose something. Okay, that's one thing that I, 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 I've learned and stuff, and he's like, oh, I didn't want that one. I'm like, that's how it is. I'm like, when we lose something, I'm like, I lost my mom, and then a few months later, you got to come home. And I'm like, and I'm like, it was really sad. I didn't want to lose my mom and like, you know, it was, but it is what it is and stuff. And like my mom passed and then he got to come home. Actually, it was a little bit longer, but like you gain somebody, you lose somebody. It's just like when somebody dies, somebody's reborn. Okay. When somebody leaves your life, somebody new comes in your life. And, um, so right here, it's the law of composition. Okay. So composition is more clear in terms for everything you have missed, you have gained something else. And for everything you've gained, you have lost something. Okay. So like, this is a thing where like you they want you gone and like they're not taking like they're gonna take like this is them gonna lose their life okay this is them because they're wishing somebody else gone 
Okay, this is also cause and effect. Actually, that's cause and effect I want to. But when somebody leaves, they're going to gain something. Okay, or if you if this person left this person that wants you dead, if this person that wants you dead and you walked away from them, um, that could be why, like, then you're going to gain somebody new in, okay? You're going to need somebody new in, like, a gift, okay? Some kind of gift or something like that. You guys can read more about it, but it's called Corp Correspondence. So, yeah, he was really angry all night, and then it was even that, you guys, like, so he lost one in the pond, and then we go later on, and he lost another one in the woods. So, he lost, he got three yesterday, he found three, and then he lost two of his own. The one in the pond and the one, so, yeah. So, it, you know I mean? It's just a simple thing like that, and it happens. Um... He'll probably get the one on the pond later when we can see when it's not raining and stuff. Probably be able to see it. Probably get that one on the pond. The other one, I don't know. That was way in the woods. Don't know what it was. It was white and it was piled of wood. Like I should go in the woods, but like I mean, like it was. I had. I didn't. I wasn't dressed to go in the woods. Like in this bushes and stuff. I wasn't dressed to go in there and get wood to. Uh, like I wasn't. Nope. Um, but that's one thing about disc golf. So you just have to like understand that too. And that's what I'm getting. Like this person that wants you dead does not like you understand it, and they they may understand, but they just want to ignore it. Okay, and that's the thing too is like I'm hearing like you watch out of like maybe you're not in their life anymore and that's why they want you dead, and like you gain something from leaving them, like you gain peace, you gain harmony, like you gain balance, like you gain you know a better life, you know calmer life without any of this extra shit that they want you, you know what I mean all this extra stuff, and now they they lost something, okay, they lost something, so I don't know like it just yeah gaining and losing and that's what they don't want they don't want and i'm here like they don't want you to gain something okay but again every time you gain something you're gonna lose something too it, it's it, it's the way the world goes okay it's a circle life as well okay let's see what else why this person wants you dead let's see i don't know what cards let's see Okay, why is this person wanting to the clock to dead still? What's going on with this story? This, this message, the story, this message. Because they, they don't have control over you anymore. They have no more control over you. They can't control your life. Okay? They can't control your life. They want to control your life and they can't control your life. They can't control it. So all they've been wanting to do is control your life. Okay, yeah. After the battle. Like, you went through a battle, okay? This is something about you battling this over and over. Caution, Nine of Wands, okay? This caution. Okay? You're a warrior. Okay, that's true. I'm getting like, you're a warrior. because you're a high priestess that's why they want you dead because you know you see your intuition okay mystery the unknown that's why they want you gone they don't like that you are you follow your intuition they don't like that you know know their secrets okay they don't like that because you're able to manifest and create whatever you want can you can make happen with this ace of wands Okay, you make things happen. They don't want that. Okay, you, you can manifest you, everything. Everything that you're manifesting is coming into fruition, okay? Everything is it, it's coming to light, okay? Everything you want, your dream's coming true, and they that's why they don't want you to have this, okay? They want you dead because they don't want you to be able to manifest. They don't want you to be able to be happy. They don't want you to have your dreams come true, okay? Because you're an empress. Fertility. Harvest. Motherhood. Fertility. This is like you. Yeah, fertility. You bring harvest. You teach. Huh. Logic, truth. You got the king of swords energy coming out here. This is logic of truth communications. Yeah, this person's sneaky. They've been going around sneaking around, causing problems in your life. This is warning you. And you got the queen of wands as well. Strong, confident, excellent, inspiring. You inspire others. You push to take action too. Okay, so you push people to take action.
You love things, okay? But this person is a page of pentacles inverted. This is a greedy person. And the greedy came out earlier. Page of pentacles inverted is greedy. Because you have a lot of options. Seven of Cups here. This is you have a lot of options, opportunities coming your way. Because of the lovers coming in, Gemini. Okay, trusting, communication. They're jealous of you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. They're jealous of you. This person's trying to cause confusion in your life. Kind of cause confusion in your life. This uh, Knight of Cups inverted, chaotic. Because they're they're possessed by the devil. Okay. Like, you overcome this devil. You're the, the world here, this world coming out, okay? This is success. This is overcoming. This is, you know, bringing things into fruition and, like, closing out cycles and celebrating. Well, like, you overcoming this devil. And that's what they are. They're, they're stuck in this devilish energy. They're trapped. They can't get out. Dangerous. You're spiritually connected to Hierophant. Taurus as well. Cancer coming out. Gemini coming out here. Uh, Capricorn coming out. Virgo coming out. So yeah, this is you. This is you, or like wisdom teacher, like knowledge. That's why we've got this many times before. They, that's why they want you gone, dead, because you're a very knowledgeable person. I literally, like I said, I literally am still seeing them standing in a mirror or standing in front of somebody and saying, "I want this person dead now. This person does not deserve to be alive. This person needs to be gone. I want them out of my life, or I want them out of this world." I don't want them to have their dreams come true. I don't want them to be able to manifest. I don't want them to be su successful. They're very, very hateful. Very hateful. And you're totally opposite. You're not a hateful person. Twenty-two, twenty-two on the clock. This could be family members involved. Okay, family members. They could be the ones that want you dead or the greedy or they could be working with family members. Okay, not every feminine is divine. Pay attention. So this could be a feminine as well. Life is a mystery. This could be co-workers, so family and co-workers. The veil has been lifted. Wealth is coming for you or going to you. See, they have access denied. Okay, this is access denied. They can't kill you. They can't take out you. And then they're going to have some bad health. You are a divine channeler. That's why they don't want you to channel messages. They don't want you to bring messages to the collective. You are beautiful. You are beautiful the way you are. This person is a psychic vampire. Or a leech. <laughs> or a parasite. <coughs> One more. That ass is mine. I don't know. That's a totally different energy coming out there. Your voice is needed. That's why. So if your voice is needed, they want you dead. You're very important to the divine. You're very important to this world. <laughs> Look at They're going to have some health concerns now. Health issues. Bad health came out. First day ended up being in the hospital. What? I'm tired. Now you gotta stay awake. You it's too late to take a nap. It's too late to take a nap. Now you gotta stay awake. Oh what's my butt? Your butt, what's wrong? My butt's hurt. Your wedgie? You gotta, you gotta shake the camera. You know I don't like it. Sure. Okay, but stop shaking the camera, please. Okay. Go, watch Bluey. Cherish, go. I've been with you all day. Oh, go, go, go. My, you don't eat the cookie back here. Cracker. You go eat your grandpa at the table. You know better. I don't want crumbs back here. I want bugs back here. Grandpa at the table. So we have a karmic masculine coming out here, okay? Karmic masculine. 
manifestations because you're manifesting, creating, okay? Like I said, there's a confirmation, okay? This karmic masculine could be in bondage. Stuck by the devil. Greed. Okay, so this could be it. Sending evil eye at you. You're a loving, caring person. They may end up having a court situation, going to court, being charged criminally. That could be why they want you dead. Maybe you got them caught up. Maybe you got them in trouble. Okay, maybe you got a restraining around this person. Something about restraining order, okay, as well. And that's what they're not happy about. Okay, we have the community coming out as well. Those all came out, community. But we had the, we had the family with the coworkers coming out too, so wanting you dead. Okay, it could be the, the community could want you dead, or the community could be protecting you as well. Okay, the community could be helping you now. Or what I just heard is that that this this it could be a karmic mask, but karmic karmic mask will come and find you like wants you dead. Um, could be telling the community that they want you dead. Okay, they could be also telling the community that they want you dead. Send you evil eye. Expectation. Somebody's expecting this. This person may really be expecting like you to die, like because they're manifest, like they've been manifesting, and, like they believe, like somebody wants, like you, like expecting you to die or expecting something come out of this. This for you expecting it too. You could already know this, expecting this. Oh, emotional pain, causing, trying to cause you emotional pain. They're like emotional pain. This person holds so much hatred, not to you, just to you, to others, to themselves. If this person wants you dead so much, like this, this bad, or wants other people dead, they hold, they, they're also hating themselves. Okay, there's a lot of hate. There's a, there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame with this person. This person is emotionally um pain, like emotionally sick as well. In a very very dark spot. Causing them their own emotional pain. And like I said, because you're an earth angel. Okay. It's like I said, you're an earth angel. Thank you, spirit. They're a thief. It's their karma. I said you're a star seed as well. Okay. The reason you're not dying either because you've been putting good into the universe, okay? You've been putting good karma out, okay? And so that is why you're not you're not gonna be able to die. You're not going to be able to be blocked. You're not going to be able to be stopped, okay? Because you're unstoppable, okay? They can't stop you, okay? They can't stop you. They can't stop you from moving forward and doing what you need to do, okay? They can't. There's, there's no way around it. One more place. Tell me the distant future came out. Okay, it's a distant future. Hello, can me trying to say hello to you? But distant future. Okay, we have Ice Queen and then we have Awakening. Okay, let's go just take one. Ice Queen is a Queen of Swords here. This is the truth coming out. Somebody's going through Awakening. This is Awakening you up. Or you've been went through Awakening. This also, I'm looking at this ice queen, it's supposed to be swords, but I feel like this, this is like somebody that's ice cold hearted. Okay, a cold hearted bitch. Ice cold. When I look at this, it says ice queen. I feel like this person is really cold hearted. Okay. Cutthroat bitch. Like, just mad angry all the time. Like, not happy. Him or her. Hole in the soul. Black soul. Black heart. Emptiness, void, because like I said, they're a parasite. Wow, parasite and artificial heart. They have a fake heart, and they're a parasite. That's the confirmation right there. Hole in the soul. This person may end up having heart problems. 
getting locked up right in a cage. It's like they're they're stuck. They're trapped by the devil. The reason they want they want you dead, and the reason that their life is going to hell is because of that, them wanting you dead. Okay, this person that wants you dead, their life is not well. Okay, look at that over that came on again because they're not a loving person. You love is all that you need. This person needs to have love. Okay, but their life is not going the way it wants to. They're they're in such a dark spot, and such an emotional spot, and such a even I guess evil wicked spot because of them being trapped by the devil because they held so much hate. They have no kindness. Laser beams here. I'm seeing laser beams here. This person's just locked up. This person's locked up. Like, mentally locked up. Trapped. Mental prison. Spiritual prison. May end up getting locked up in jail prison as well. Okay? Basically, spiritually, mentally locked up. Because they're a parasite. They're dark. Look at this. They're, they're dead inside. Okay? Sick inside. That's why. They're, they're dead sick inside. I'm hearing if they would just give up on you. I'm hearing if they would just give up. And they stop wishing you ill. They would stop wanting you dead. They would stop doing magic or whatever. Or negative thinking or thinking. If they stop thinking about you and they just totally surrender and let go. Their life will change. Their life will change. But it's not going to change because until they, they, they stop, it's not going to change. It's just going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. And that's not your fault. You have a lot of courage, okay, strength. I'm also hearing they need to have courage to surrender, okay, and let go of the devil and start praying to God. This person needs to start praying to God. This person doesn't believe in God. Okay, they don't believe in God. They need to let go. The devil has a hold on you when you don't believe in God. The devil has a hold on you when you do not believe in God. Self-sabotage. This person self-sabotages, okay? They're self-sabotaging self their own life. Sabotaging your life. They would not be in this predicament and they would not be in this situation if they believed in God. This person does not believe in God. Whatsoever. They do not believe in God. They can say they do, but they don't. They can read the Bible, but they don't. Because you're a star. Shine bright. You're enlightened. Okay, you come from the stars. You're a celestial being. Okay. Trying to cause, cause crossroad at your life, okay? A different direction change, pathway. They're causing chaos, concord, con discord in your life, okay? This is a destructive person, messy person, tricky person as well. Worried, dangerous. This person's so worried, okay? They're so worried about your life wanting you dead and it's causing more problems in their life. The tricks are, look at, wow. This trickster energy, this mice, this chaos, this individual that wants you dead is going to end up dying. Somebody's going to have to get a grave site for them. A burial. Somebody's going to be getting buried in the ground. And it's not you, Collective. It's not you, Earth Angel, Star Seed, Divine Being, who's healing, who's growing. It's not you. It's the person that's wishing this on you. The person that's telling people they want you dead. The person that's doing spell work, okay? Standing in the mirror saying, I want this person dead. I want this person gone now. It's not you. And if you are the person, the cross-watcher, that wants the person dead, okay? You could be, okay? So there's cross-watchers, okay? So I just heard that. Spirit just let me say that. There are a cross-watcher, okay? A cross-watcher on here that you wishes that you do, dead, okay? Then you're going to end up dying. You're going to end up having problems. I can tell you right now that there's at least five karmics that watches this channel. That's the ones that watch. There's five karmics that's watching this channel. That's the ones wishing the collective dead. Okay, at least five. I'm, I'm hearing five to ten that watch this channel, that wishes the collective dead, the Earth Angel Star Seeds dead. Okay, so that's why I say this. Like you guys gotta take this as it resonates. Okay, put it in your situation. Put it in your. You know what I mean? Like there's cross watchers. 
And that karma, the karmics that are on here that say wants you wants the collective dead are on here saying, I don't want them dead. They want me dead. They want me dead. What did you tell me hurt? Eating chocolate. You haven't ate chocolate. Why did you tell me hurt? Do you have to go potty? They're not able to survive. Okay, they were trying to regenerate. Regenerate. They're not going to be able to. This is inverted. Okay, this is them not be able to come back from this. Okay, this is not them. Th th this karmic that wants you dead, like you're like a phoenix rising. Okay, you regenerate. You keep coming back and coming back and you come back stronger and stronger. They're not. Every time they do that, they, they get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. They're going to the underworld. Hades. Hades is keeping them under the world. Hades is not an evil god. Okay, Hades has a purpose here. Hades keeps the souls in hell. Okay, Hades keeps the souls in the underworld. And this individual is going to end up going to Hades. On the underworld. They're going to be stuck in hell. They're not going to be able to leave. And Hades is going to keep them there. Because that's Hades' purpose. Hades is actually a good god. He just, we need a god that controls the hell. Keeps people in place. Hades keeps... The, the, the demons and the karmics in their place. And that's what's what's happening here. Looks like some names. I'm going to put some names. I'm going to put some names, up, some names on. Take 24. Okay. We'll get these in a minute, guys. Okay, we'll get these in a minute. You guys, we're almost at 23,000 subscribers, and I would not be here without you guys. So thank you so much for that. It, it's it's amazing how, how much we've grown and how far we've came. I absolutely am so happy, and... I, I'm so happy that we're growing together and we've come this far, okay? We're healing together. If you've been with me since day one, I know there's a select few of you that's been with me since day one. I mean, like, from my first videos to now. Um, I know some of you guys come and go, and that's okay, too. I come and go and watch tarot as well to some of the tarot readers out there. It's okay. I'm guided to watch. I'm guided to watch. So then, thank you so much. Okay, we have Janelle. Somebody wants me to hold the names up there. I, you guys, I'm not really holding the names up, okay? You guys can go back and what. Like, it just, it, it goes faster for the names, okay? Um, Janelle, Idaho. And it kind of, when I do that, hurts my wrist really bad. I don't know why it hurts my wrist. Usher. Something wants me. I'm trying, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can. Usher um, wants to be uh, butt naked with you. Keegan. Horton. Somebody has a phone jammer or trying to uh, jam your phone. UK. Long. J. Somebody's a Nephilim. Nephilims are giants. You can read about them. Israel. Chester. Gerber. Jamie, Keys to the City, Gerber, Chester, Microwave, Microwave Weapons, Microwaves are weapons, you guys, there's a lot of radiation coming from them, you guys, a lot of radiation, a lot of energy, negative energy, West Valley, there is only one source God, trust in him or her, Jose, or Jose, we could say Jose, Jose, Aurora, Dream of You in 3D, New Hampshire, Forced to heal my wounds. So you're being forced to heal your wounds. Leads. BMX bike. Somebody drives a BMX bike or rides a BMX bike. Drives. Rides. 14. Michigan. Barbie. Marriage wedding ceremonies. Because that's two. That they, they want you dead. They don't want you to get married. They don't want you to be celebrating. They don't want you to have a, a ceremony. Okay. They That could be why they want you dead. Harris. Yeah, Harris. Justin. 
hard to see that one. This person's a psychopath. It's rural area. Someone loves country music. Kendra. Oh my gosh, my wrist hurts when I do that. I, I was going to say that before. March. Chocolate. Shasta. Lawrence. Bishop. Somebody could be a bishop. Energy of a bishop. Meditation. They're thinking about you all the time. They're thinking about you all the time. Mitchell or Mitch. McConnell. McConnell. Conrad. Shaniqua. Shaniqua. Blue and red. Blue and red. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen, okay, for you. I want to see what's going to happen for you. Um, I'm going to get a divine card for you, okay? That's why I want to close. I want to combine with divine card and what's going to happen for you, what's going on, because I want to close this other pocket note after all this. Okay. Thank you. We have Owl. Owl is a secret information, okay? Knowledge, wisdom. Your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. Thank you. We have a Robin. Robin is new beginnings, okay? Transformation. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. White Swan. The power of divine grace is within you. Power of divine grace is within you. You want a crystal card? We have Unikite. Unikite, answer prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. That's why they want you dead. Okay, because you have support. Solutions. Lamiria. Lara Imar. I've never heard this one before. I don't have Unikite in my shop either. What do I know? Sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. I'm going to get Archangel Michael card come out because this karmic is watching here. We need an Archangel Michael card, a prayer for them, and also um, protection for you, okay? Keep your eyes on your target in initiation or intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears and doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. One more. Thank you. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to everyone or everything experience. One angel, thank you. 316, you may want to look in the Bible. Um, verse 316, okay? Go read all the 316s. Time for spiritual growth in your life. Divine realm is open to you to make a difference in your own reality. In your own reality. John 3.16, Matt 3.16, whatever, whatever's in the Bible. Go read it. Cancer, Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, number 10. That fell down again. Somebody's trying to make you not want to love, okay? Somebody's trying to make you feel like you can't be loved or you can't love people. This person is an unlovely person or un doesn't love, okay? That you don't want that once you're dead. Cancer, Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius, number 10. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, hail, namaste.